Good morning, everybody. It's the Savage Stacker. All right. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for coming by my YouTube channel. All right. Hopefully, my sound quality is doing much better. I purchased myself a Hollyland, um, like the top quality microphone, cordless, wireless, if you want to call that, self-charging little thing here. There was an Amazon version of this that or like a cheap version it was like $39 but I went with the, the high quality one I wanted it to come out good I didn't want to have to buy twice so hopefully you guys can hear me better and uh all right let's get to this I'm taking myself out of the silver game silver is not doing what it is supposed to be doing it is just keeps getting lower and lower and lower we're back in the 21 something range the other day and i just i just can't hack it it's just it's not doing what it's supposed to so i'm going to be dumping all my generic silver keeping my my vintage stuff and just getting out of the silver market and i'm going to take it and i'm going to go buy gold with it it's just it's a bad investment it's horrible at holding value and i have lost tons of money buying silver so i'm done with it i'm fed up so i'm going to be moving on from silver no more silver in my stack except for the really nice rare stuff all this generic stuff gone bye bye all right if anybody knows me you know that i am talking out of my rear this is a conversation i had with somebody outside of the coin shop the other day after he got done selling a bunch of silver and I'm like why do, why are you selling all this silver you know do you need to buy a car or do something and we were chopping it up in the coin shop already so we had already you know been talking a little bit about it and he's like well he's like, well, I've been holding on to this for a very long time and I started stacking again back in 2020 and just adding to it and I couldn't you know I, I just when it was up around $28, you know, it, it was, I thought it was going to keep going up. And compared to the silver that he purchased early on, $30, $32 was a bargain. And I said, okay, well, all the stuff that you're selling, like I bought a bunch of the stuff that he was selling. And um, they were like sunshine mining bars and just stuff like that, just older stuff. And he had purchased a lot of this stuff in the early 80s at the top of its market when silver was like 45 and $50 an ounce. He held on to monster boxes of eagles and bars and rounds, and now he is selling all of his silver and just wants out of the game. Now, I've been hearing a lot about stuff like this with comments and stuff over the last year or so, and Sal just made a video about this, about people trying to get out of silver, and it's just, it's a bad investment, all these things. Now. I don't plan on selling a bunch of my silver. I, I was just joking. I'm going to buy more if it goes lower. Even if I wanted to get out of silver, now would not be the time. The time to get out of silver is when it jumps up a little bit. If it ever goes to 30, there's a lot of people that are going to jump ship and sell their stuff. Well, this guy has been waiting and waiting and waiting, and he was waiting for it to go above 30 so he could sell and get out of get back some of his money in his investment right he had bought monster boxes of eagles he had bought all kinds of stuff and he thought it was going to go to the moon back in the 80s and it never did it came steadily down and it's been in the 9 10 11 12 dollars an ounce for years and now recently did not get quite to 30 or maybe it did touch 30 but it just it never went it never went up so He's been holding out, waiting, and he figured because the economy was so bad and everything was so bad that he would just hold out for a couple more years and then sell and try to get his money back. Well, he's selling now like at $23 an ounce, and that is pretty, pretty sad. And I can't stress this enough that it, when silver is boring and the premiums are low and people are jumping ship and getting out of it and that is the time to buy silver not when it's hyped up moving up spot price is starting to climb everybody's talking about it the premiums are high and 
everybody gets excited and like, oh, silver's going to the moon. I'm going to start buying all this silver. And that's the exact type of hype that gentleman got caught up in in the 80s. So this has been going on for a long time. Everybody thought it was going to $100. They were buying $50 an ounce eagles and they just knew they were going to double their money. And guess what? 40 years later, 40 something years later, it still hasn't. It still hasn't. And I know for a lot of you out there, you're thinking, well, if it hasn't done, performed well in 44 years, then how's it going to fare in the next 44 years? Silver is not designed like that. Buying precious metals is not designed like that. You need to buy when it's low. You need to hold long term. And all you're trying to do is hold on to your cash value and store it in something that is not cash. Because cash, you're losing 2% or more in the last few years every year. You're losing a bunch of money on it. Now, silver and gold, you're going to do pretty well in keeping your value in, you know, your store of wealth in metals. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be breaking even always instead of losing 2% every year. And that is the point of stacking precious metals. Now, for me, that is not why I stack precious metals. I stack precious metals to protect myself from my bad spending habits and that's why I buy silver and gold now do I think that I've overspent on silver I do I do think that I have put a little bit too much money into silver versus gold and I just made a silver purchase two days ago but it was vintage it was cheap and I had to jump on it now things like that where I know I'm winning I'm gonna buy all through this year. That's just the stuff I'm going to buy. But my, mo my focus this year is going to be on gold. And that's because I do. I do believe that I've overextended myself, not overextended myself financially, but overextended myself, uh, over purchased silver over gold. And when I was talking to this gentleman, I said, you know, do you think you would have been better off if you would have bought gold back then? He's like, I would have been way better off if I would have purchased gold. And He's all, I, he's all, if I dump a lot of the stuff, a lot of it's going to go back into gold and some money for the grandkids and things like that. So it makes sense. But there's quite a few people leaving comments over the last year, year and a half that are just trash talking silver, not precious metals entirely, just silver. And I mean, if you if somebody hands you a gold chain and a silver chain and said you could have it for free, which one do you want? You're going to grab the gold. It's worth more. It's a better value. It's a better store of wealth. But the speculation with silver is it is so underrated that it could easily take off. And that's when we would be winning. But we like that guy. We could be sitting on this for 44 years waiting for that to happen. But this is a highly needed metal and this is a new era this is a time where electric cars and batteries and solar panels and stuff is needed for silver silver is needed for all kinds of things and so it's a new era for silver and i believe that the price is kept down so the prices of all those things don't go through the roof i guess there's a little bit over a kilo of silver for every tesla or every smart car out there uh, or electric car out there um, there's a few ounces i guess in every solar panel these are things that are being built every day all the time and they are needed back in like the 60s and 70s silver was used for you know colonial silver things like that and also for mirrors and and some soldering stuff like that but now it's used for a lot more things and do i think it's being manipulated yes absolutely can i prove it absolutely not but for me it's a way to save money and just a store of wealth that's that's why i stack silver gold on the other hand is a little more of an investment for me i mean it's not an investment per se but i'm always breaking even on gold so i would rather purchase gold for that reason you know more of a store of wealth than uh than silver but this is my savings account this is why i buy silver not as an investment i'd buy it as a reason to save myself from all my bad horrible spending i mean i'm trying not to buy a bunch of knives this year and i have been 
on the internet every day, three times, four times a day, just looking at knives. And I'm like, oh, I want to buy that, I want to buy that. And I'm like, no, don't do it. Because I can put it into silver and use that money at a later date. So I have overpurchased silver a little bit this year and or last year. So I'm going to focus more on gold, which I've already done pretty well. I've purchased a quarter ounce and a tenth ounce of gold this year already. Um, at the in December, I purchased an ounce of gold and another tenth ounce of gold. So I'm I'm, I'm starting to build some more gold up, but I kind of went over with silver 25% more than I wanted to. I should about 25% more gold last year and backed off some silver. And that's what I'm going to do this year. I'm going to buy 75% gold and 25% silver with my budget, but I'm going to keep stacking. I love silver. Silver does exactly what I want it to. And that is to protect myself from my bad spending habits in a savings account. That's it for me. That's, that's, that's all it is. And if I can find vintage for a good price, like a good generic silver price, then that's what I'm going to buy. I love vintage over anything else. I mean, this stuff is cool, but it's just boring, you know? It is. And if I can find this stuff for $25 an ounce, I'm going to buy that. And... Um, probably buy it over gold if I get that opportunity at that price. But mainly this year, I'm going to be focusing on gold. So a lot of talk about people getting out of silver right now. I don't know why they would put this much time, effort, and money into something just to try to jump ship. If they've been listening this whole time, everybody's saying, not everybody, but most channels say long-term hold and don't overextend yourself and remember that silver is just a way uh, to be a store of wealth, not an investment. So if you were not listening and you had FOMO and watched prices go up and spent your money, you know, kind of, I don't want to say dumb, but, you know, being silly and, and getting FOMO and buying when it goes up and everybody's involved and everybody's excited about it. You know, you probably shouldn't have purchased at that time. You probably should have held back, thought about it, and just, you know, saved your money until you were able to buy enough gold or just held out until things settled down. Now, I stacked all through this whole entire thing, higher prices, higher premiums, higher everything, and I just, I tried to hit the dips as hard as I can. Like these right here, these Asahi bars, that's from a dip in 2022, and uh, silver came down to like $18 an ounce. I got these for $21 an ounce, and did pretty good on these, and I try to make my big purchases then, so... Try not to have FOMO, and when it gets boring like it is now, where people are saying they're jumping ship, and this is the time to be buying. Prices are coming down, premiums are coming down. If you're spending, if you're buying silver right now for twenty-five dollars an ounce, you are doing great. Twenty-four dollars an ounce. I've seen a dollar fifty. I've seen ninety-five cents over spot at some places, and that's when you want to buy. Some of those same bars two years ago were five and six dollars over spot and you can get some of those kilos and stuff now for 95 cents over spot that's when you want to buy don't go out there and have fomo and wait till everybody wants to get involved in it and everybody's excited about it and the premiums go up the price and them everything goes up and you get back into silver like that's a horrible, horrible time. So in conclusion with this conversation I have with the guy at the coin shop, he has sold over 1,500 ounces in the last month, month and a half. And a lot of that stuff is stuff that he was stacking back in the 70s and 80s. Just been holding on to it forever and now he's trying to get out of it. I would think if you were holding on to it that long, you did not need the money right away. I would just hold on to it for a little while longer or continue to stack stack gold, you know. But if you need the money and you got to pay off your house or mortgage or whatever and you're just trying to pay it all off, get done with it, and you, you sell all this stuff and you're going to lose your behind if you bought it at $50 an ounce. But 
I don't know what his reasoning was. I didn't ask him that part. I just know he wanted to get out of silver and I've heard it quite a bit lately. Quite a few channels are talking about this and man, it's, it's quite a, it's quite confusing to me why you would spend that much time, money and premiums and all that stuff into something and then just give up on it. it it's, I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me, but if that's what you want to do, it's your money and that's what you want to do. I mean, then handle your business, but I'm going to hold on to it for the long term, and I'm going to use it as I need it. If I need it for something like I'm going to try to buy my son a car this week, we have about four grand saved up, but I'm probably going to need another four grand. So I'm going to sell some silver. I don't know about gold. I probably won't, but I'm going to use that, you know, because it's my savings account to help him get a car. So. I'll be selling some of my generic stuff like this pile right here might not even be here next week and I'm going to use it as I need it. And that to me is why I have it. So, you know, let's make it work for you. Make your stack work for you. And um, I'm going to keep grinding on the stack. I'm going to be buying a lot more gold this year. And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Just hang in there. It don't want to lose all that premium. Not only are you losing from spot price, maybe you purchased at $28 an ounce, but then you spent another $4 on premiums. I mean, you spent $30 an ounce, $32 an ounce on silver, and now you're dumping it at $22, $23 an ounce. God, you're losing a lot of money. Not a good time to be doing that. So, yeah, I don't know. If you don't want to get into something like this and you're just doing it because of hype, then you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. So I wouldn't even get into silver if that's, if that's what you're trying to do. Go put your money in the stock markets or buy collectibles and resell them at a profit. Like do something else because this is, this is not what this is for. For me, premiums are coming down. Prices are coming down. I'm buying more to help cost average out the stuff that I bought two years ago, three years ago, that was $30 an ounce. And every time I buy um, at its low, it brings that $30 cost average down to 28, 27, 26, 25. And once it gets low enough, it won't really won't matter where I sell at. You know, I'm always turning some kind of a profit or breaking even. And so that's what I'll be doing. Anyways, I would, I would end this right here, but I want to shout out somebody real quick that I forget. I've been making videos all week, but I haven't put none out. I just haven't been into it. I've been, been kind of a, I don't know, on a bum status, just uh, not, not really into videos right now. But this topic kind of caught my eye. I did have that conversation with that gentleman and watching people jump ship. So it's quite concerning. Unless you need the money, I would not be jumping ship right now. That is just my opinion. That is not financial advice. Just my opinion. Okay, let me do this shout out real quick. I'm going to do a shout out for North Stacker. Go check out North Stacker. Great guy. Um, I've been checking out his videos. He's brand new. The last time I checked, he was like at 150 subscribers or something like that. We chit chat and on some emails and on comments back and forth. Great dude. Go check him out. Very good content and um, up and coming stacker and, and content creator. And I love watching people at the beginning of their journey and just to see where they go. You know, you never know. One of these small new channels could be the new, you know, 100,000 subscriber channel. You never know. They could just blow up. So go over, give them a subscription. Go tell them Savage Stacker sent me and uh, just go check them out. North Stacker. I'll put a link down in the, in the description. All right. Thank you everybody for coming by. I really, truly appreciate it. I hope that the sound quality was a lot better with this. Um, these things are pretty cool. Right, now I have a little fuzzy on there. It clips on top. I haven't even opened this one up yet. And uh, so hopefully the sound quality is much, much better. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. It is a Savage Stacker. Remember to hit that bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Savage Stacker is over and out.